In 2 Peter, verse 1, 4, it says, He has granted to us his precious and very great promises, that through these you may become partakers of the divine nature. Wow. To be a partaker of the divine nature. It is the ultimate experience of life. I had a, a friend one time that wanted to take me to a very fine restaurant, very famous restaurant, one of the top restaurants in the world. And he said, we're going to partake tonight of this experience. And we did. And it was, it was incredible. But it is as of nothing as partaking in the divine nature. All of us desire to see more love expressed between people. We want to help create and also maintain the good world in which it is our heart's desire to live in. We're very conscious of the needs of humankind. And we want to give and give and give. We want that no one be without. This is our true nature asserting itself. We can express our true nature. The God power in us will enable us to be true to our essential character. We came from God. We are a part of all that is good. In considering Jesus' life, we see how Jesus, knowing himself to be the Son of God, never hesitated to act as this Son. He never questioned. He accepted. Well, thinking now of his life, we ask, that same Christ be born in Jesus, be reborn in us, so that we can express our true nature. This is a wonderful gift to give to the world. It's a gift where you can really make a difference. But you have to be willing to go and to do and to partake of the divine nature. 